Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is the start of a new series, the Chowtown Games Forecast. It's a series where I'm going to talk about games coming out over the next month that I think are notable or ones that just intrigue me. This series is going to be more on the inscripted side of things, which isn't what we usually do, but I really want to give it a shot and I really want this to become a regular thing for us. Lots of really cool games are coming out and I have a lot of thoughts that I want to talk to you guys about. So with that being said, I am your host Itachi and let's get into it. So the first two weeks of January don't have anything really, but it doesn't stay quiet for long because on January 19th, we do have the release of Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden. This is the first time these games are going to a platform outside of a Sony platform and well, except for Golden. Golden did come to PC last year, I believe, but it is the first time they are going to home consoles other than Sony with Persona 3 Portable first time going to a console. Persona 3 and Persona 3 Fest do exist, but this is the portable version, which I have mixed feelings about. I kind of would have liked them to have put Fez on there. I would really like a Persona 3 remake, but maybe Alice will do that in a few years. This is just really, really good that they are finally putting them on home consoles and platforms other than Sony platforms. I haven't played Persona 3 since my preteens, and I did play Persona 4 Golden pretty recently. Well, fairly recently. I played it like two or three years ago. Um, a Vita or PlayStation TV, if any of you knows, know what a PlayStation TV is, uh, it is, uh, it did get discontinued, but I did play it on PlayStation TV. Uh, Persona 5 did just release on platforms other than Sony platforms, and it's already sold over a million copies, so Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden should do well on the platforms. I would really like to get them, I know they're not going to be 60 bucks. Thankfully, it would be really bad if they tried to sell these for 60 bucks again. I'm guessing around $30 each for, for each. It's hard to tell, especially since I don't believe pre-orders are up. But either way, I think combined it'll end up being 60, but they'll each be a lot cheaper, which is good for consumers. And I do think that RPG fans are gonna be really, really happy. And a lot of Persona fans can finally play Persona. Let's go! Well, RPG fans can continue to be happy because the day after that, Fire Emblem Engage releases on January 20th. I am a big Fire Emblem fan. Three Houses was great. Engage looks a little bit more traditional in gameplay, which I know some people are happy about and some people are a little bit weirded out about. I'm in the middle. I don't care either way. I like the newer gameplay. I like the older gameplay. I just want more Fire Emblem or more mainline Fire Emblem. I know we've had a lot of Fire Emblem pretty recently and I know it's been making people pretty upset. And now we have a new game. I do enjoy the protagonist designs. I know some people are a little bit mixed on it. They look like uh, Crest. Well, not, not Crest. They look like... Is it Crest? Let me, let me check that. Okay, I checked. Yeah, yeah, it's Crest, Colgate, whatever you want to call it, Toothpaste Chan. Uh, I know some people are weirded out by that design, but I actually like it. I think it fits. I do think that something everyone can agree on are the visuals of this game. This game looks beautiful. I don't think there's anyone that can deny it. The art style looks really, really nice. Three Houses, as much as I liked it, was a really ugly game. And this is really stepping it up. I remember Reggie made a comment a few years before Three Houses came out saying, the next Fire Emblem will be beautiful. And Three Houses was not. But this does. This is. So I'm really, really, really happy. On the flip side, something I'm not really too... Or at least I don't know how to feel. I'm not upset about it. I'm not really happy about it. It's just interesting. I don't know how to feel about them bringing back old characters as stands. <laughs> I, I I really don't know. I, I I don't. This it's weird. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it goes into the story. And I think that if they can tie it in well, it will have a really really nice payoff. But I guess that's something that we are just gonna have to wait and see how it goes. Moving on from Fire Emblem, a week later we have the Dead Space remake, and everything about this looks promising, and. Devs have been really transparent with it since they revealed it. I played Dead Space a long time ago. I know that they're adding more dialogue. Isaac's voice actor from 2 and 3 is back, which is really good to hear. The gameplay looks more refined. They took feedback from everyone whenever they did the developer updates. And it looks like they are putting a lot of love and care to this project. 
and I hope it does well. I think that a Dead Space 2 could work really well, Dead Space 3, as much as it is not well received, I think a Dead Space 3 remake in the far future could also work if they remake it like Resident Evil style, where or Final Fantasy 7 remake style, where it's more like a reimagining, because I think a co-op horror game with Dead Space would be really, really cool. Dead Space 3 missed the mark, but it did have potential. Remove all the microtransactions, remove what made it not really Dead Space, keep these devs, they look like they love the series. I think that Dead Space has a really bright future, and I'm really looking forward to this remake. So, we're done with RPGs, we're done with horror, what else squeezes its way into January? To the very, very end, January 31st, well... It's none other than Spongebob, what else is gonna make it here? Spongebob, the Cosmic Shake, squeezed its way to January 31st, which is crazy. There was no word on a release date until just recently, and it's, it's looking good. Cosmic Shake looks like a good game. I'm surprised that they made another one. I'm surprised they put the budget into it. I, I enjoyed Rehydrated for what it was. It was a good remake. I know not as many people were up on it as I was, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, for my Spongebob game childhood, it relied more on uh, the movie game, the movie video game. I know that's unpopular, I know a lot of people think Bikini Bottom, Battle for Bikini Bottom is a lot better than it, but that's just me, that's where my nostalgia is. I spent a lot of time as a kid playing the movie game and I would really like a remake of that. It probably won't happen though. We're probably just gonna continue to get new games. But I'm not gonna stop campaigning. Give me a give me a remake of it, please. But anyways, back to Cosmic Shake. I think Cosmic Shake looks really good. New characters look good, story looks good, platforming looks good. Obviously, same engine as Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And I don't think they need to change it. This probably isn't gonna be a 90 on Metacritic, maybe not even the 80s. It's probably going to score a little bit higher than Rehydrated. I, uh, but I, I miss these games. This is a licensed game. It's a good one. The devs look like, like in Dead Space, they look like they care about this IP, which is strange to say. They care about the SpongeBob IP because it's, it's a licensed IP. Licensed games are notorious for not being great, but this looks like a great platformer. Platforming is one of my favorite genres in games. And I'm excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to this game. And that pretty much covers all the games that are catching my eye for January. I'm unfortunately not going to be able to play many of them at launch, if any. And that's mostly because I'm slaving away with school related work. But these are all definitely on my radar. I'm really happy with all of these. This year looks really good. 2022 was a really good year for games and 2023 is not slowing down. January is already looking bright, and the coming months look heavy in a good way. This was the first episode of Chowtown Games Forecast. I was really happy with it. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.